Hi there. My name is Miss Davis or Miss D, and I'm so excited to be your art teacher this year. I have created a variety of different art centers for you to explore and to use your creativity in it. I had more fun in elementary school thinking about being an artist and using my hands. It was incredible because everybody in my family was really good at using their hands. And I found art to be a great place for me. So what I wanted to do was grow up and be an artist. And I did just that. When I finished high school, I went on to get a BFA, a Bachelor's of Fine Arts in art. I took every single class that was there. It was so great. I didn't even want to leave. But finally, when I graduated, I decided I'm going to have to pick something that I want to be as an artist. And there were many things that I could pick as a career. So I chose to be a painter. And I also chose, with my hobbies, to make things out of ceramics. Now, ceramics are clay. Clay, when it is in the rawest form, is so much fun. It's like Play-Doh. This is a vase that I made, and it's really kind of fun with some vases on it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is a passion for me. And one of the things that I wanted to tell you today is that it is so much fun being an art teacher. It's like the best teacher you could ever become. So, just a little bit about me. Um, I have... I enjoyed so much working at Gilbert Elementary School. I've been a teacher for 15 years and my favorite years have been the last three years being here at Gilbert. I love this school and I love my students here too. Some of my students have gone on to show their work at the airport in, in Austin and they've gotten recognition worldwide just for getting a couple pieces of artwork in the airport. I also got five artists, they all got medals because they showed at a state level. And I hope that you'll take your work that far too. All it really took was making up your mind what you wanna do and deciding that you were gonna get there no matter what. Now remember, when you're making your art in my class, you don't have to be perfect. All you have to do is be brave. Be creative, explore, enjoy yourself. That's all. Apply yourself and use the materials in the best way possible. And then put your work up nicely. Clean up sparkling, clean, leaving the room great. And there you have it. One day in art can make the whole week great. So I hope you have a great year. One more thing about me. I love the color green. I love almonds. I was born January 6th. I love pets. And a fun fact about me is that I'm a huge fan of the Westminster Dog Show that comes on right around Christmas break, you guys. I love the agility trials where you see those dogs that are the sporting dogs that do all these wonderful tricks. So. Anyway, I just hope I make learning really fun for you today and for the rest of this year too. I'm going to be going over the drawing center today and how you use those materials correctly. There's some materials that you use first like pencils, markers, and even Sharpies. Then you put those away and you can use oil pastels and color pastels afterwards and later even paint. But today we're just gonna look at one center at a time so that I can show you how to use these correctly and they'll be in the right place when you come back to use them again. Anyway, I hope you have a great year in art and I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for applying yourself today and I look forward to a really great year.